nitrogen, oxygen, sodium, chlorine, gold, lead, copper, tin. How many Iron, elements did she say silver, there were on Earth? Aluminium. 112. Carbon, That's nitrogen, not many. Sulfur, I bet there's thousands of elements in space. Zinc, phosphorus. Neon, yeah, thousands. Uranium, millions mercury, of different and strange elements out there. It may seem strange, but scientists believe exactly the same elements are the building blocks everywhere in the universe. But how do they know? I think Femi should find out more. Every year, more than 40,000 tonnes of rock come crashing down to Earth from space. Pieces of asteroids. Pieces of the moon. Even pieces of Mars. They're all called meteorites and have travelled millions of miles through space and end up here on Earth. Thanks, Alec. This masonry, courtesy of Alec, hasn't had quite such a long journey. But in this building, some rather more interesting specimens. Every year, the Natural History Museum receives samples of meteorites from all over the world for analysis. Finding out exactly what meteorites are made of can tell us a lot about where they come from. We can discover exactly what elements and compounds are up in space without having to travel there. I've come to meet the person in charge of analysing meteorites. Monica, they just look like rocks from my back garden. What makes them special? Rocks from space often do look like rocks on the Earth, but actually they are very different. The elements, the building blocks of rocks, they're the same in meteorites as they are on Earth. So, like oxygen, iron, gold? That's right, exactly. But it's the proportions of the elements and the way they're combined into compounds that's different in meteorites. And also, some of the elements you actually find in their pure form in meteorites, where you don't ever find in their pure form on Earth. Wow, look at that. It's all shiny. In fact, it looks like metal. That's because it is metal. I've got a little test for Monica. Now, I've collected three rock samples. One is a lump of sandstone from the Lake District. Another is my sample of Welsh gold ore, fool's gold. I should keep her guessing. And the last one has travelled millions of miles in space. It's a meteorite from the asteroid belt. Ten minutes are all she's got to find out which one's the meteorite. So, Monica, time's up. What do you think? I think you found this one in your back garden. I think this is a sandstone. It's a reddish colour where the iron in it has been oxidised. It's completely non-magnetic. Absolutely. I think you were trying to fool me with this one. Fool me with your fool's gold. This is the iron pyrite from the Welsh Hills. Again, completely non-magnetic. But look at this one. This is the meteorite. It's the pure metal. It's made of iron. It's magnetic and it's very heavy. This has come from the asteroid belt. Well, Monica, not bad at all. In fact, you're officially science in action. Brilliant. Thank you.